hi guys and welcome back to my channel i'm back in with another transformation and if you want to see how i go from this to this you need to keep watching until the end of the video okay so i'm going to start off by doing my eyebrows and for my eyebrows i'm using the nyx eyebrow pencil in the shade brown and I start off with doing my outer eyebrows, as you can see. And then I go in and do the inner part. But I don't brush in the inner part. I use my spoolie for that. And as you're doing the outer part, make sure your eyebrow pencil is always sharp. And now I'm going to use my spoolie. You can use any spoolie you have. Just use your spoolie to brush that part in. And this creates the ombre effect or, um, I don't know, shaded effect, whatever you want to call it. And then now I'm going to use my concealer to, to shape my eyebrows. So I'm going to go in with a flat brush from Morphe Brushes. And I'm going to put the name of the brush below. But I'm using my flat brush to just shape my eyebrows. I do the bottom first on both sides. And then I go on with doing the top and the concealer i'm using is the allegro concealer in the shade fawn and you guys already know this and for the top of my eyebrows i've started using this new technique where i use a darker shade or the shade of my um, foundation for the top of my eyebrows because i find it harder to blend at the top as you don't apply any eyeshadow at the top of your eyebrows And then I'm just going to use my brush from Morphe Brushes as well. I'll put the name of the brush in the bottom description. But I'm using that to blend out all that concealer. Make sure you blend. You don't want people to see your concealer. And as you can see, like there's a line in the front of my eyebrows. So I also blend that out to make sure there is no line. You should not have a boxed line in front of your eyebrows. And now I am going to prime or conceal my eyelids with the same concealer from Ale Girl. You can literally use any concealer you have as long as if it's a lighter concealer. And I'm using the same brush to blend that out. And to set my eyelids, I'm going to use the Sasha Buttercup setting powder to set that. You can literally also use any setting powder you have. You don't have to buy the exact same um, products that I'm using. But if you want to, you can. Okay, so for today, I am so excited to be trying out the Warriors palette by Juvius yeah juvious i hope that's how you pronounce it but this is the first eyeshadow palette i'm using from them i'm so disappointed i couldn't get the other ones because they're all sold out but yeah this is the first one i'm using and the color i'm starting off with is the color called kano all the um eyeshadow colors have names so that's also quite good so this is my transitioning color and your transitioning color is normally a color that is like close to your skin tone if you get what i mean And now I am going in with this brown because today I'm going to create a card crease. And the brown is called Mino. 
to be honest guys i found this brown very hard to blend out like i don't know what's up with the consistency but i found it very hard to blend out like very hard it wasn't a smooth process it was patching up like i didn't think this um this look could come out looking as great as it did but yeah so as you can see i start off with my outer one and i'm dabbing the product on i am not like rubbing it on if you rub it on it literally comes off so you need to use the dabbing motion like you know dab my dab Okay, and now I'm just using the same color, the Kano, to blend out the dark color I'll just use because of the line it creates because it's a dark color. So you need to go in and make sure there are no lines. Make sure people can't see where your eyeshadow is starting and ending. It just needs to flow. And now I'm going to create the cut crease and I'm using this um, eyeshadow paste to do that. You can use concealer, but today I, said I decided to use this um, paste because I've never used it before. And this is from Vault Cosmetics. So I start off with the inner part as well and this product was very hard to apply on. I think it's because I've had it for such a long time. That's why it was hard to apply. But it was extremely hard. Like it wasn't smooth at all. You can't see me struggling but I found it very hard to apply on. And now I'm going to use this gorgeous orange glitter color and it's in the shade Dahomey. Dahomey. I don't even know how to pronounce this or what inspires their names. Like, does anyone know? If you know, let me know. So, you know, we all know. So I'm just using this beautiful, gorgeous color. And I'm starting off. You can literally start off anywhere. I prefer starting off with the inner part moving my way out. Guys, this color is gorgeous. Like, it's very gorgeous. And I'm just adding in more of that mineral color because I didn't feel like it was dark enough. And now I'm using this Glam Crystal Glitter and it's from Collection. And I'm going to use this to define my cut crease even more. So I start off with the inner part, making my way to the outer part. And you and i only use it halfway through my eyelid i don't go all the way down and this is very easy to do to be honest because the brush is super super thin And now I'm just curving out or defining my cat eye because I'm going to do a cat eye today. So I'm just defining that with some concealer.
And now I'm using some mascara because I'm gonna put on some eyelashes later on. Okay, and also defining with concealer makes it easier for you to draw your um, cat eye if you struggle doing a cat eye because you just follow the line literally you use. Like, look at this. This is so easy to do. And now I'm gonna mix two foundation. I'm gonna use my foundation from Dior, but it's literally broken. I am not sure what the shade is. I'll try putting the name of the shade at the bottom. And I'm also gonna go in with my foundation from um, L'Oreal in the shade Cappuccino. Yeah, I know you might think this is a lot of foundation, but like that's how I like it. And now I'm using a damp beauty blender from Real Techniques to blend that out. Like apparently if you use a beauty blender, it doesn't give you full coverage. I didn't know that actually. Apparently if you use a brush, but I always find using a brush leaving streaks on my face and I don't like that. That's why I prefer using a beauty blender. Let me know what you guys think if you have any knowledge on this. And now I'm using this bomb ass concealer from... Too Faced and it's in the shade Mocker but I wanted to buy the shade Maple because this is a bit too light but I chose the wrong shade but with concealer you know it can never be too light. Look how that blends out guys just look at that like it's so beautiful. And now I am blowing my Sasha Baraka powder everywhere and wasting some because I'm trying to look cool. Sorry guys, but yeah, this is what I used to set that um, concealer. And I've started setting my concealer before I start contouring because I find out, I find that if you don't set your um, concealer early, it can start creasing. So I just started doing this. This is a new step I have add it to my makeup routine and i'm using this maybelline contour stick um, that i got from a drugstore it's not bad it's good but i've been wanting to try out a new um contour stick or you know concealer so if you guys have any suggestions let me know 
and i use my real techniques contour brush to blend this out i love the real techniques brushes these are like my favorite brushes in the whole wide world and then i'm gonna go back with like blending that out with my foundation so it looks like you know decent and blend it out And now I am going to set my contour with my contour powder from My Cosmetics and it's in the shade NW45. Okay, so for highlighting my face, I am going to be using the one and only MAC Cosmetics Gold Deposit Highlighter to highlight my face. And I think I need to try out a new highlighter. This is the one highlighter I've been using literally all my life. But ooh, who can you blame, sister? And on this video, I think I might have exaggerated the highlight. Like, I think I might have gone into deep precious. Like, it wasn't that deep, was it? But can you see? Literally, this is how flawless it looks in person, guys. gonna add some highlight on that nose to snatch it like your nose needs to be snatched and i'm gonna go in with that um dahomey um gold i mean orange glitter i used on my top lid for the bottom like i just love you know people who put um color on their bottom eyelid i don't know who came up with that but this looks pretty and as if you can see i've just put on lashes those lashes are so glamorous and these are gonna be on my new collection of the glam lashes so gorgeous and for my under eye i'm gonna go in with a black eyeliner from nyx cosmetics and i decided to do a cat eye so i'm just gonna line my inner eye this is also a beautiful dramatic look but you might as well go big or go home Okay, now to line my lips, I'm going to be using NYX Brown Twist Pen. I don't know why my pencils, all my pencils and pen are from NYX, but they make really good affordable products, guys. Like, this was probably like four pounds. And I'm going to use my Beverly Anastasia. <laughs> my Anastasia Beverly Hills. I don't know why I always say things in the opposite direction. Lip gloss. Like, this lip gloss is so bomb. I'm going to leave the name in the description. But this is my favorite lip gloss. Like, I've been loving lip glosses from them lately. And finally, to set my face, I'm going to be using my MAC Cosmetics um, Fake Spray and my CoverGirl Juby Finish. I use both of them because I like to fix it and do it up. And guys, this is the final look. Like, I hope you guys enjoyed this look. The eye is a bit dramatic, you know what I'm saying? But I know there's some of you girls who are going to enjoy this look. Anyways, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video. Bye.